Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already saw. <laughs> oh my God. Let's right. Amen. Y'all, when I tell y'all, when you're going through stuff, like you be messing up at your job, I swear. Anyway, y'all, I'm drinking uh, raspberry lemonade today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. Delicious, just like it was yesterday. Girl, my head is literally somewhere else right now. First of all, yesterday was the day, okay? If, ladies, if you know what I mean. And today, girl, I am going through it. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Protein chip. Mm. This is good. And we're gonna put her right there. But we're gonna put the meat first of all back on this sandwich because it all fell out y'all me trying to change the buns on the sandwich the meat them fell off there we go pickle get back on there okay here we go and my onions y'all I had to put onions and pickles on here because it, these sandwiches from from Bucky's, y'all, they do not come with onions, uh, pickles, or jalapenos, and they don't even have them in the store. So y'all, y'all already know it's my first time going. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do y'all like Bucky's? Have y'all ever been there? Um, because this is delicious, actually. What is that? What was the hell? Okay. <laughs> Mm. Mm. This shredded beef is really good. I would suggest you get your own pickles. Okay. <laughs> and onions and put them on here. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, those are black makeup. Um, people said they're gonna keep fighting for inclusion, you know. They can keep on fighting, you know. I'm still gonna back them, but girl, please, I really wish they'd stop. I really do. And honestly, I know that they want inclusion, but I just, I don't know. For some reason, I be feeling like it's about the content. Once you, like, keep doing it and notice that they're not including us, hello, but you just keep, like, it's like, oh, please, oh, my God. Please, let's not keep begging Mmm. Mmm. I should have got two of them beef ones. Mmm. But did y'all know that uh Serena Williams has a makeup line called Win Beauty? I didn't even know that. Okay, that's who they should be um reviewing. Like 
And then, fancy y'all. Did y'all know that Brianna start, starts off with uh, the dark shades first and then the light shades? Because who does that? Nobody. I mean, they're probably doing it now because uh, Fenty did it first. But you know what I'm saying? Because that never happens. They always start off with the lightest shades. And I know why they do that. Because they want to cater to... I guess the most popular demographic and is it is it the most popular de demographic i i don't know because i don't know the statistics of it all but mm. wow ah oh, that's good no wonder everybody get that one because i ain't never seen nobody review the pulled pork one Never. Y'all, this um pastor, I forgot where they're from. Anyway, um he announced that his wife had um in so many were unalived herself, right? He was at the church making this announcement saying that he still wants them to come to church and he still needs for them to give and all of this stuff here and asked his congregation not to talk about it and people were in the comments talking about he did it allegedly y'all he did it or he had something to do with it like i don't know who this pastor is i don't i didn't know their situation nothing like that um But that's what people are saying in the comments. Because he was saying, he also mentioned that she had mental health issues. And y'all, come to find out, she had filed for divorce. And she had made videos saying that she was going through something. And that, um, you know, she knew that she needed to go through this, I guess, by herself. Um, she wasn't involved in anybody else. Mm. so nobody else knew i don't believe what she was going through but her husband when he made the announcement he was like she had mental issues that she was going through um mm. And he was just like, pray for him and the kids. I don't know why people think that he did it, allegedly. Because, I mean, it was said that it was self-inflicted. It's so unfortunate, y'all. So unfortunate. Like, people be, like I said, people be going through some real stuff that you know that they don't talk about you can you you can just honestly tell that they're going through something but when his wife was making a video you can tell she was in distress in my opinion um it's just so sad like people be going through stuff all alone you know what i'm saying um so unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, I can't believe that I didn't I didn't record the sandwiches when you know before I had been y'all. Oh my god. That's why the big that's why that clip looked like that, y'all. So anyway. I'm going through step two. Okay. <laughs> Just to let y'all know, you know. I'm going through step two. I I feel like we all are. Honestly, because when I tell y'all, you know, that I'm going through something, y'all be like, um, yummy, we all going through stuff. 
you know our husbands or our significant others get on our nerves too you know <laughs> so i'm glad i'm relating to some daggone body mm. I want to go on a walk today, y'all. Yeah, I'm cramping so bad. Ooh. I was telling the blog. Like, it started yesterday, but girl, today? just be glad when it completely goes away y'all like i'm just really honestly waiting on the day and y'all it keeps shifting on what day it wants to come to like yesterday what was yesterday was it the first y'all i had started coming on it on like the eighth or the ninth and then it, it's gonna pop up on me yesterday like girl it's confusing me it's like Y'all yeah, gotta understand. My stuff has always been on time. My entire life, y'all. Until not that long ago when it started switching up on me. And I already know it's because of I'm getting older, things change, hormones, all that stuff. Uh I'm very much aware of that, but anyway, y'all let me know if y'all know anything about what is going on with that. Um that pastor in that situation let me know if y'all have any more information um mm, people just think that he's being suspicious like they think he's suspicious i don't know i don't know what's making people think that uh, human But mm. maybe it was because she was filing for divorce. Mm. I know that set some men off, like wowsters. And I, I think that it'd be more about um, the money. You know what I'm saying? Or embarrassment in front of the church. I don't know, but. Y'all, it's all of a sudden so pretty outside. Earlier, it was super duper dark. I thought it was gonna really just be raining real bad, but no, none of that happened. Supposed to get my hair done today. I called her this time and canceled because of the weather, y'all. I was like, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't think that it was gonna get better, but. I'm just going to wait until it is just not raining. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to go get my hair done when it's all muggy outside. Because I'm getting a silk press. And I don't want... But isn't this weird getting a silk press? Oh, girl. Anyway, because I don't want my stuff to be freezy when I make it home. I'm going to be pissed. She, um, dyeing my hair black. It's going to be one of those demi, um permanent colors um so she will be using um what do you call it developer but <clears throat> i can't wait to get it done it just got to be on the right day
Anyway, y'all, like, I, be, I swear, I be wanting to, I really envy people, not really envy, but envy people that are able to express themselves and tell their business on the internet, like, you know, they're so fearless. I mean, I'm not scared or anything, it's just that I just, I don't know, I can't see myself, um... You know, speaking about real, real personal type of business on the internet, because I know how people are. They'll throw it right back in your face. You know, when you being vulnerable, they'll throw it in your face and stuff, you know? Um. Anyway. I wish I could tell y'all what's going on, but I can't. I shouldn't even brought it up, but I wanted to. <laughs> Next time I get one of these sandwiches, I am getting two of the beef ones. I'm getting a little full. And people are watching me. I'm on this like road <laughs> behind this neighborhood. Um And people are wondering why I'm sitting here. <laughs> Just don't come find out now. I'm like on this lonely, like, road. <laughs> mm. Anyway, y'all got so many topics. <sighs> y'all, let's talk about it. There's this young lady by the name of Baby Storm, okay? And she was really good friends. I don't know if they was best friends or not, but she was really good friends with Ice Spice, right? And I guess they must have got into it. And they're not friends anymore because, honey... Baby Storm done leaked their private messages, okay? And Ice Spice was talking about Nicki Minaj, girl. When I tell y'all, this tea is hot, piping hot. Baby Storm released messages with Ice Spice talking about Nicki Minaj, talking about um, she's delusional. Um, what else she called? She called her something, and and she was delusional, saying that she wanted too much out of their collaboration, and she was just trying to include Nicki in th that Barbie collaboration with Ice Spice. She was just trying to include her um, because you know she was everything Barbie because. The people who did the movie asked Ice Spice to do it. And that was it, okay? And Ice Spice decided that she was going to um, have Nicki Minaj to collaborate with her. So it was all Ice Spice's, you know, doing as far as that collaboration went. And so I guess when she tried to bring Nicki Minaj in, Nicki was trying to take over and she was saying she was acting more like a a parent or an auntie or something she said than somebody that was collaborating with her anyway come and find out nikki was demanding all of this stuff from her 
um her publishing allegedly y'all i believe that's what it was her publishing and anything that she might write with anybody or something like that y'all nikki was asking for the publishing for all like and she was like no she said it didn't sound fair and all of this stuff here and nikki was telling her well when i signed with uh wayne i wasn't asking no bunch of questions well baby you should have you should have that's what she was telling this young girl like this girl ain't got a brain she was basically in my opinion this is what it sounds like trying to take advantage take advantage of her you know um and thank god she had people that backed her that told her you know and i think that she knew better than you know what Nicki minaj was saying but it was weird how nikki supposedly y'all uh, allegedly was demanding all this stuff here anyway um and i believe she was saying on those messages that she that she she has to love nikki from uh uh afar because you know she and then she had um in one of the messages she said she had to cut her off um until i can't remember until when anyway she said she had to cut her off until something um Basically, I feel like mm, she was just telling how she felt about the situation with the, them collaborating and stuff, um, and how Nikki was treating her, just like everybody else. Like it, everybody ain't a lie when they talking about Nikki and how Nikki be treating them and how, what she be doing behind the scenes. Like, ain't everybody not lying? in my opinion you know what i'm saying like booty how do y'all feel about it because i just i don't know i feel like everybody is not lying on her it must be something that maybe nikki needs to look at within herself you know um mm. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, though. Um. So yeah, she let the cat out the mother flipping bed. I know Nikki is mad. I know Ice Spice is pissed. Like that shit is so freaking wet. Just because y'all fell out, then you want to go and do that? That's so evil. And then Baby Storm is an artist herself. Oh, she gonna reap what she sold, girl. She gonna reap what she sows, okay? Because Baby Storm, uh, Storm just made a video about her best friend and not being best friends with her anymore. Um, because her best friend called them people on her um, and sent her to a a, um, a hospital for mental issues, okay? Because Baby Storm made a video, y'all, talking about basically trying to predict things that are gonna happen in the world and. I guess her best friend felt like she was not well when she made that video and maybe she needs some help or whatever. So yeah, her best friend called them people on her, honey. And and so when uh, Baby Storm made a video about him was like, um, that's not my friend. Like who does that? There was nothing wrong with me. I was just, you know, telling y'all some things that are probably gonna start happening and stuff like that, right? I saw the original video. And she didn't sound like she was crazy to me. But anyway, I would have never called them people on my best friend. Like, I wouldn't be messing with her either. I really wouldn't. And people in the comments talking about what good of a friend this girl was to call the people on her best friend. Like, you know, she's actually a good friend to you. And girl, I don't know. What do y'all think? Like, would y'all still be friends with somebody that call somebody and i don't know how they make you go to a mental hospital I, how do they make you do that like she was a grown woman i don't understand how she was made to do that but 
um would y'all still be messing with that person because i know i wouldn't i wouldn't want to be if even if, and, and like and i know that there's nothing wrong with me mentally and then they found while she was in there that there was absolutely nothing wrong with her you know absolutely nothing wrong with her they tested her and she was like they put drugs in her that she did not want all this stuff I'm like wow I definitely would have been mad. Mm -mm. But anyway, I was saying all this the same. I hope her best friend don't flip the script on her and tell all of her business. Like Baby Storm did Ice Spice. Because, um, and it's weird. I didn't even know they was best friends. Why? I don't understand why Ice Spice ain't put Baby Storm on. Because she's been struggling with her music. She's always making videos how, on how, you know, like she might quit because I guess she's not getting enough traction or whatever. And she, she got some good songs. Because I remember one song she came out with, I forgot the name of it. And I shared it with y'all. Um, I told y'all about it. I don't know if anybody remembers that, um, but I mean, she makes some really good music. She's a uh, black, uh, like, emo type of um, girl. That's how she dresses. I don't know, like, what the, I think the music, she calls her music, it might be rock. Is it rock? It don't sound like rock, though. I don't know what genre it is, but it's not a normal, it's not, it's normal, but it's not something that black girls normally do you know what i'm saying so maybe that's why ice pipes couldn't probably couldn't put her on because it was a totally different genre of music that baby storm was doing okay that's probably why so i just answered my own question um but girl <laughs> like oh my god you read what you saw girl that's gonna come back on you honey somebody gonna tell all her business all of it <clears throat> now cause I'm pretty sure Nicki Minaj thought that her and Ice Spice was cool and now she gonna see this like <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that uh, Ice Spice wanted to keep it under the radar. You know how she felt about Nikki and make her dollars. But girl, whatever. Mm. Anyway, one more thing I wanted to uh, holler at y'all. Y'all, this was a trip what I saw on TikTok. And that show called uh, 20V1. I didn't even know it was called that, y'all, until today. It's called 20V1. And it's that show, y'all, where they have, like, they bring a celebrity on and then they have, like, a bunch of different random girls um, come up one by one and, you know, introduce themselves and say what they do or whatever. And the artist says whether or not they want to keep them or um, they have to leave, right? Girl. Excuse me. JP is his name. And I'm just now finding out who this guy is right he's he um is a rapper he makes music and um he has his song something about some bitties or something or somebody putting a bitty on her knees or something like that y'all some nasty music anyway uh so he was the celebrity that was on the show right so a girl came up and she was talking about how she doesn't have a gag reflex or something like that. <laughs> I think that's what she said. She doesn't have a gag, so she's not going to gag, right? I want it. Y'all know what I mean. Girl! And she asked him, did he want to see? On camera. Did he want to see? And let me give y'all a little bit, a tiny bit of a, like a backstory on JP. He just had a no jumper interview where he, um, he, uh, told everybody, and this is, nobody knew this about him except for his homeboys, apparently, 
that he had had relations with the man um he said i think he said like four or five years ago or something like that he had relations with a man he was just you know telling people his experience and or whatever and the guys that were there were shocked they were he was like they were like what no did he or something they were saying y'all and he was like yep show sure did and they were like would you do it again he was like hell yeah i'll do it again so basically he was not afraid to tell his story about him being with another man like he wasn't he wasn't afraid um but anyway so the girl was like you want me to show you and he was like hell yeah and i don't think she thought that he was gonna say yes and she was like, for real? She, she took his hand, y'all. He said, where the bathroom? <sighs> y'all, where's the bathroom? It's so disgusting. This sounds like stuff that happens at concerts, y'all, like back in the freaking 90s. Not stuff that happens today. Like, you gonna go take this man in a disgusting bathroom? To top him off, y'all. I'm sorry if this is too much for the kids. I... A stranger. Lord knows when the last time he took a shower. Girl, you just you gonna go and show him what you can do, huh? I couldn't believe it. They literally, uh, the, the camera stopped when they uh, went in the bathroom together. So, I... I even speak y'all like it definitely freaking happened okay unless they got in there and she was like i was just playing but let's just say stay in here like we doing this something like girl i don't know how freaking strange is that like oh my god And I hope they use protection. Because there ain't no telling what neither one of them got. Oh. I can't even believe her. And it, when they was walking to the bathroom, I know she was feeling like, oh my God, I cannot believe this is happening. I was just talking ish. I can't believe it. Because I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like she was just talking her ish. Or she wanted to be picked. Or maybe she just wanted to be picked and she just felt like she needed to say something that was going to make her famous. I don't know. Because, honey, she's famous now. Because he was like, come on. Honey, he wasn't wasting no time getting to that bathroom. None. Yeah, these sandwiches are not that big either, y'all. So I'm literally able to eat two of them. My goodness, this generation of kids is something else. Something else. And in his song, y'all, it says something about getting women on their knees, y'all. Like, oh my God. It, it was in front of so many people, y'all. In front of so many men. You think somebody gonna be like, um, you think ain't nobody gonna be like, um, I want to turn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how men are. How disgusting they are. Mm. With all the men there. 
They don't be, somebody's gonna be like, I want to see if you got a gag reflex. I want to see. Because they think it's cool because of what she, how she did that. You know what I'm saying? They, they gonna think it's cool. But they should get their turn too. Like, that's a dangerous position for her to put herself in. Honestly. Very dangerous, in my opinion. But folks is grown. You know what I'm saying? Folks is grown. Mm mm mm. And you know what? She could have grew up in the best two-parent ho household. You know what I'm saying? Her parents um could have given her all the um attention that she needed. You know, because I know people are going to blame it on her parents and her uh the way she grew up. Sometimes it ain't even like that, y'all. It's just sometimes, you know, when kids get out in their world, it really influences them. Um, so, mm, I don't know what her situation was. It's like I said, it, it, it may not even have to be a freaking situation for stuff like that to happen. Because some people try to do deep dives and, you know, and all that type of stuff and figure out why and all this, but... Anyway, y'all, I'm full, and I have to film another video when I'm done with this for TikTok. Mm. Um, but yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel, and have y'all ever been in a situation where your best friend freaking told all your business after y'all stopped being friends? I hope don't nobody ever do that to me, good girl. I fell out with folks and I haven't heard anything. Hopefully I never do. You know what I'm saying? I hope I never do. <sighs> I need to go back to the dentist and get my maintenance for my teeth. Um anyway, um, I gotta go. I am full. Full, full. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay? Um, follow me on the Family Blog channel. And yeah, y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna be in the house tomorrow. I think. Because, honey, these car mug bangs are such a breather for me. Y'all. I don't know if anybody can understand but they are somebody on instagram was like she she probably gets tired of cooking every day she needs a day off yeah i need it today too okay and i might need tomorrow girl i that well <laughs> i might i don't know but i'm just thinking like if i do do something tomorrow like where am i gonna go can anybody let me know where i could do keto somewhere else i don't want to eat another burger um, so I don't know, maybe some, like, I was thinking about some type, is it Persian food where you eat, like, the meat and the veggies with the onions and stuff? Is it Persian? I don't know. But, um, I don't know, I'm gonna see. I wanna eat something different, honestly. I wanna eat something different. Um, but if I do stay in the house, I'm going to do something with that borosine, borosine uh, cheese that I have. I'm going to do something with that, honey, because, oh, oh, my God, that was so good. I swear the person who told me about that was not lying. That was not lying. But, um, yeah, y'all. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh, and 
and I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.